Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Bowman here at BW1.com on behalf of Chris Perillo at YouTube.com slash Locker Gnome. I'm going to give you a great cool feature that originally came in Windows Vista and is now included in Windows 7. It's how to repartition your hard drive within Windows. It's a real cool feature to use in the event that you have a hard drive that you kind of want to allocate the hard drive space in a different way in different partitions, kind of slice it up differently, and you already have it in Windows. This is a cool and great way to already kind of do that without having to format the whole drive and kind of start all over again. The first thing you need to do is you need to go down to the start menu here. You need to right click over my computer. You want to click on manage. Now the user access control prompt may pop up. You just want to click continue to open it up and it will actually bring up the computer management um, menu here and then you want to go on to storage, go to disk management and right in disk manager shows you all the hard drives that are available on your system. So the next thing you want to do is you actually want to choose which drive you want to actually create a partition off of. In this case we're going to choose the G drive. I'm going to select it, then we're going to right click it, and then we're going to click on shrink volume. Once it's done that, it uh, kind of scans your drive there to see how many uh, megabytes you have available that you can use to create another partition on that particular hard drive. Now, most people think that a thousand megabytes equals to one gigabytes. It's actually not true. You want to do it in proper computer math, and that's a thousand to twenty four megabytes equals to one gigabyte. So let's say you want ten gigabyte partition. What you're going to need to do is do 10 times 1,024 megabytes, and that'll be 10,240 megabytes that you need to type in in the amount here to get to 10 gigabytes. And in this case, we're going to do a real simple. We're just going to do one gigabyte partition, so we're going to do 1,240 megabytes, and then we're going to click shrink. Once that's done, now it's created that partition off of that hard drive. The next thing you want to do is you want to click on the unallocated space here. You want to right click it and you want to create a new simple volume. So you want to click next to the wizard here. We want to use the whole space there so we're just going to leave it as it is. And the next thing you can choose from here is you can assign it a drive letter. You can mount it into an NTFS folder. You can do, you not assign a drive letter or a path if you don't want to. In this case we're going to assign it the letter X because we're unknown as exactly what we're going to do with the uh, partition. Click next. And this um, menu here you can choose to do not form, format the volume or you can format the volume here you can choose the file system from FAT, FAT32, NTFS we'll just leave it at default you can allocate the unit size here we'll just leave that as default as well you can change the volume label name in this case we'll make it a uh, screencast make sure I spell it right there we go and you've got a couple of check boxes here at the bottom. You can perform a quick format or you can enable file and folder compression if you want to. We'll enable that just for the heck of it. Click next. It's going to give you a summary of what you what what it's going to actually be doing. You click finish. And there you're all set. So if you go back to my computer, you're going to see screencast as the X drive. That's your new partition that that partitioned off from the G drive. It's going to act as like a separate hard drive on your system. You click on it and now it's available to you to drag data, whatever you need to use it for. All right, so now let's say, all right, I'm finished with this partition. I don't need it anymore. I don't want that extra drive there. Let's say I, I, I want to take that, you know, partition I just made and throw it back in to the entire hard drive on the G drive over there. That's real simple to do too. So you just want to go back into the computer management menu, go back to disk management. Then from there, you want to right click on that partition. You want to click delete volume. You want to make sure you have all the necessary data that you need off of that volume off onto another hard drive or another partition that you're not formatting because this is going to erase all the data. Once you've done that, you want to click yes. Now you want to go to the original uh, partition over here. You want to right click it. You want to click on extend volume. You want to click next. It's going to show that drive there. You just want to click next. You want to take it all in. Just leave this all to default. Click next again. Click finish. And now that one gigabyte is now back into the entire partition of the G drive that it originally was in. So as you can see there, that's a real simple tool to use, a real cool tool to use as well if you need to repartition your hard drives on the fly. Don't have to go through this whole backbreaking process of form formatting as you used to do in the past. And Windows gives you now these real basic features, which is included in Windows Vista, and now it's in Windows 7. So it's real cool to use. So to see more of these tips on tech, you'll want to head over to youtube.com just locking them. Also check out the community of Geeks Talking Tech at geeks.perillo.com where you can also check out his live 24 hour video feed with embedded chat. So for Chris Perillo of YouTube.com slash Locker Gnome, this is Bowman from YouTube.com slash BW1.com. It's B-W-O-N-E-D-O-T-C-O-M reminding you to live your tech world in high definition.